Bitcoin continues uh, its its march, reaching all-time highs, cracking the 62,000 mark this morning. Wall Street gearing up for the cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase to go public tomorrow. That's happening on the Nasdaq. How far can this move go, Ryan? I mean, it's kind of like the SPAC market, and you know, Dennis Gartman quoted T.S. Eliot last week, so I want to keep it highbrow this morning, and I'm going to quote Voltaire. <laughs> you know, the more often a stupidity is repeated, the more it gets the appearance of wisdom. So the higher that the, the price of Bitcoin goes, the more everyone's buying into it. <laughs> but I think the reality of it is, when you break it down, um, there's no intrinsic value here. It's extremely volatile. It's so volatile, to put it in perspective, because it gets... A lot of times it gets equated to gold. Um, Ninety million dollars can move an inflow of ninety million dollars. Excuse me, ninety million dollars can move Bitcoin by one percent. That's one twentieth what you'd have to put in gold to move it one percent. So you know the volatility is just astronomical. We know it can go down as much as eighty percent, like it did in 2018. And one of the scary things about Coinbase is I saw an advertisement come up on my Facebook a couple of days ago, and they allow you to borrow against your Bitcoin at. 8%, great rate, given the fact that rates are so low. So I can't imagine how many people are going to get wiped out eventually because of, again, the volatility in this investment. If it goes down big and you're borrowing against it, you get a margin call. It's kind of reminiscent of the housing bubble when people were borrowing against phantom values and all these different real estate projects that were basically vacant properties, if you remember what that looked like back in 08 and 09. Oh, yeah. So I think from all, you know, all perspectives here, it's a very dangerous place to be. Now, I put a you can vote on my Instagram stories this morning because I asked the people today what they think about Bitcoin. I personally think it's going to end bad, may go up in the short term. Remember, tulips, one tulip could buy a house in the Netherlands in the 1600s. A tulip costs like one dollar today. I think Bitcoin's going to end up the yeah. same way.